Hey, come on in. Are you ready for 37 questions? I am, I can't wait, this will be fun. Come on. What were you doing right before I knocked on the door? Um, I was eating breakfast, still kind of eating breakfast, and I was working on what I'm doing for today, this morning. I'm working on my planner, um, I have it on paper, and I also have it in my phone. So, just kind of starting my day. Well, what's for breakfast? Oh, let me show you, because I made you something too. I actually made, um, I made egg whites with asparagus and sun-dried tomatoes. And I made, well, I didn't make the fruit, but I have fruit and rice cakes. Amazing. Well, what's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? Oh my gosh, I'm so lucky. I have an awesome husband. Every morning he wakes me up very early, very early. Seems like it's earlier every morning. And he brings me coffee in bed and water. Wow. Sweet. <laughs> That's lovely. It is, it's awesome. So Holly, you obviously own your own real estate company. When did you first start your own real estate? I started real estate um, July of 14, 2014. And what made you start doing real estate in the first place? Well, my mom um, was in real estate in Destin, Florida before she passed away and she always wanted me to do real estate. She thought I'd be good at it. And of course she never listened and of course one day I thought about it and listened and went back and said I'm gonna do this this time. So I started. Awesome, and what did you do before you were an agent? I opened a restaurant and then I worked in the casino industry and marketing for 18 years. Wow. Well, I can see why you opened up a restaurant. I mean, this looks amazing. <laughs> oh, I mean, it, well, this isn't really cooking, cooking, but um, it's simple and it's healthy. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Wow, and what was your restaurant called? Uh, it was called Cypress Cafe and it was downtown Bay St. Louis. Do you miss it? I do miss it, yes. What was your favorite thing on that menu? I, I like all the stuff, but I think my favorite was probably Panini by the Bay. And why did you open up a restaurant in the first place? The restaurant was one of the things on my bucket list. What would you give a piece of advice to someone that wants to open up their own business? If you want to open your own business, be ready for hard work. I would say do a lot of preparation, do a lot of research, get a business plan, and just put it all, put everything you have into it. Is there anything in life that you regret? Not really. I mean, no, not really. No. Awesome. Well, you were so busy. Uh, how do you manage? Uh, well, first of all, <laughs> I drink a lot of coffee. I love coffee, so I drink a lot of coffee and just, just do it. Just do it. Well, what's your favorite coffee order? Um, at home, I just drink basic coffee, but if I'm out and about, I usually get like a skinny, um, a skinny chai latte. Mm, that and do you good. want a cup of coffee? I would love one. All right, I'll Thank make you. One. Sure. Now, how do you relax and unwind? Actually, I like to stay home when I can, but when the weather gets warmer, I'm gonna go right there. Wow. Now, that's where I want to relax. Oh yeah. So Holly, tell me, what are some of your passions? Um, I think I like to cook, <clears throat> I like to travel, and obviously I like to learn how to use this thing. <laughs> it's not working today. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna get ready if you don't mind. Oh, okay, start sure, talking. yeah. Um, passions, I think, um, yeah, travel, cooking. Um, I like to do DIY stuff too, like recycling and things like that. Oh, nice. What's your favorite animal? Ooh, I love sharks. <gasps> I love sharks. Really? Why? Yes. Um, I think they're just mysterious and uh, they're the apex predator and there's so much unknown about them. I just love them. They're cool. Have you ever swam with sharks? I have. I've <gasps> swam with whale sharks. I've swam with, well, several sharks, but um, I have swam with them three times and I was just about to swim with them just recently and with COVID hitting, they canceled, but I will do it next year. I want to swim with great whites. What are some of your other hobbies? I love television. I love doing anything with production and things like that. Um, I like helping others. Um, and I think um, I like doing DIY stuff, like I was saying about my passion. I, I love to recycle things and make something new. So yeah, come on. Oh, uh, well, what's your favorite design style? My favorite design style is probably mostly modern, clean line moderns, but I like a hint of industrial. I'll be right back.
Oh, that was quick. <laughs> I know, I get ready really, really fast. Well, what's, tell me, what's one book that taught you something? Um, hang on, let me get my shoes and I'll answer that question. Oh, okay. Um, I think, I like so many books, but the one that I think that probably is a quick, easy read is Who Moved My Cheese? I'm not sure who the author is, but it's about change. And right now with life the way it is, there's a lot of change. So it'd probably be good for people to read that one. Great. And tell me, what's one show that you're currently binge watching? Um, I like Rain. It's about Queen, like Queen Mary, Queen Elizabeth. It's got a lot of history, so it's kind of it's kind of fun. I like watching it. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't wear socks, by the way, oh, in case you're wondering. You're okay. So um, you told me earlier that you love to travel. Where are some places that you love to travel? I love to go to Rome, but I love Costa Rica. It's so, it's beautiful there. It's Where's beautiful. one place you would love to travel? Australia. <laughs> All right, so if you could have lunch with any person, living or dead, who would it be? Ooh, I'll get teary-eyed on this one. Um, I would say my mom, because I'd love to let her see where I am today from her, uh, her vision of me being in real estate. And I would love to have lunch with her so I could ask her to come work for me. Oh, that's so sweet. So you live on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Have you always lived here? Um, I've lived here since about 15, 16. Um, I lived in New Orleans, and I was born in Naples, Italy. Wow. What's one of your favorite things about the Mississippi Gulf Coast? Um, I think the people, the diversity, the food's great too. And the homes are here are awesome. Like there's just so many different options here. Yeah. All right, tell me, what's one of your most embarrassing memories? Oh my God. <laughs> um, I keep my hair blonde for this question. I would say, just recently, I think people saw that on Facebook. I went through the drive through at Smoothie King. Actually, I did it twice in two weeks. And I just kept driving through. And about 20 minutes later, I drove back and got my Drake. And I know the lady thought I was nuts. But um, I asked her when I got to the counter, or not to the counter, to the drive through if my order was ready yet. I gave her plenty of time to get it ready. We've all been there. Oh, yeah, but I've been there way too many times. <laughs> I do a lot of crazy stuff like that. So who's your favorite actor or actress? I would say Reese Witherspoon because she is inspiring actually with her clothing line and her own production company and she just she's a cool cool cat. I just I really like her. She's super inspiring. Yeah, and she's on TikTok. Yes, and she actually danced well. Like I could never dance that good. Have you met any other celebrities? Um, yes. I actually, when I worked at the casino, I was able to meet a huge amount of celebrities. I met like, oh goodness, I could go on and on, Regis, um, uh, like uh, Joan Rivers, Huey Lewis, Smokey Robinson, Gladys Knight, Donny Osmond. I mean, I met so many people. It you was mean, awesome. You mentioned Joan Rivers. Did you ever work with her? Kind of. Not really. We talked. Um, she... <laughs> She um, and I kind of talked about, I was uh, trying out for The Apprentice at the time, and she wanted to help me work towards getting on the show, but I really wanted to do it on my own merit. And then the next couple seasons after that, she was on it. So I was like, wait, what's the deal here? <laughs> it was a little weird. So Robert Downey Jr. or Hugh Jackman? Oh my God, Robert Downey Jr. for sure. I like a bad boy. I do like a bad boy, but you know what? He's a bad boy gone good. So I like that about him. <laughs> All right, well, Holly, the holidays are right around the corner. What's one of your favorite holiday traditions? Um, okay, so this was your tradition a long time ago, and it kind of got away, um, but I think I want to try it again this year. Um, City Park in New Orleans have, like, lights in the oaks, and it's just beautiful there, and we used to take our family there. I want to do that again this year, if they have it, for sure. That sounds awesome. Oh, yeah. So what are you most proud of in your career? I mean, after 18 months, I opened my own business when I had a lot of doubters. A lot of people didn't think I could do it and did tell me that. Um, but I feel like um, I had something to prove. I wanted to do a good job and I, I did it in 18 months, opened my own business and here I am. So yeah, maybe that. Amazing. Now tell me, what are you thankful for? Thankful for? Oh my gosh. Well, we are coming up to uh, this, the holiday season, Thanksgiving. I would say family, friends, clients. Um, people I work with. Uh, I mean, just really, there's so much to be thankful for right now. Really. Okay. I really think. And what's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? First of all, I think you have to be yourself and hard work pays off. And I totally believe in that. Totally believe in that.
Well, thank you, Holly, for answering all my questions. Well, I'm ready to give you, um, I'm ready for you to eat your breakfast. It's gonna be cold and I've gotta get to work. Okay. So come on, come on and eat.